So, Arsenal, four. The fake Invincibles, one. We are smoking that fake Invincible pack. Good round here, isn't it? Good round here. Let's get this air conditioning on. We need to cool down after that scintillating, scary, dangerous, oh my God, Arsenal a scary performance. Don't worry, lads. We're winning the quadruple this season. We're going to drink in all the haters' tears. All the rivals have now been over and accepted. Yeah, they've accepted that we're scary, we're deadly, we're scintillating, we're world-class, unstoppable, champions-elect, treble winners, quadruple winners. Nobody can stop Super Duper Mick. Nobody can stop us. Nobody can stop us, guys. Bottoms up, pause. Anyway, smash the like button up. Big up to everyone who's locked in. 101,000 subscribers now. 101,000. Gosh. Uh, big up to everyone who is here. Make sure you get your comments in down below. I want to know your man of the match today. My man of the match, um, I'm probably going to go with Gabriel Magalash. I thought he was outstanding. Sorry, that's the, uh, that's the Florian Verts pack. Let's just finish off the uh, the Xavi Alonso hipster pack. The Granite Xhaka pack. Standing ovation at the Emirates. Wow. After saying he didn't take a sideward step, he went two steps full. Okay, so he mugs the club off as an ex-employee of the club. And you will stand up and clap. It's like clapping for the NHS. Clap for the NHS. Okay, good one. Anyway, where do we begin with this? Yes, it's only pre-season. However, we looked faster, sharper, fitter. And I'd expect that. Why? Because we've had more pre-season games than they have. Uh, I think that was only the second or third game in pre-season. However, you've still got to dispatch them. Their goalkeeper, by the way. <laughs> Their goalkeeper. Yeah, I don't know who he is. But he's not very good. And he is an absolute liability. They need to get rid of him real quick. Yeah, Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund. Bayern München even. Yeah, are coming for their title back. Yeah, this lot are going to fold this season. I can already see it. My spidey senses are telling me they're folding. I'm not basing it off of that one game. I'm basing it off of the fact that even though Vincent Company probably shouldn't get that job in the first place after getting relegated with Burnley, they have gone out there and bought some top players. Elise, Paulinho. Yeah, they're getting Jonathan Tarr. Decent players, good players. Players that we should have been looking at, by the way. But don't worry, we don't need anybody because we've got Eddie in the room. What did Eddie do when he came on, by the way? What did Edward Nketiah do when he came on? What did Fabio Vieira do, by the way? But let's start with Zinchenko. New number. He's got Kevin De Bruyne number. And he played like Kevin De Bruyne today. Yeah, what a strike, bruv. What a goal. Oh, my days. He slapped that. Yeah, slapped that. And guess what? Where was he when he hit that shot? Oh, he was on the edge of their box, which is why we don't need him anywhere back down the other end. If we're going to play this geezer, and I know he played at left back today, if we're going to play this geezer, play him in midfield. Play him in midfield. Just play him there. Yeah, maybe he can solve the number eight conundrum. We need the domino effect. Yeah, the new buzzword, domino, the domino. Yeah, get out of here, man. Understand. Oh, my God. Deadly, scary, Sizzler. Shut up. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, end of the day, it's pre-season, so I'm not going to get too hyped because I already know what's happening this season. We have not done enough to bridge the gap. We've done a deal with Mikel Moreno on personal terms. Three weeks ago, uh, we've apparently done a deal with Real Sociedad verbally on the fee. So why have we not signed him? Three weeks later, Zuba Mendy is now linked to Liverpool. But we were told that Zuba Mendy only wants to stay in Spain. So which one is it? And if they sell Zuba Mendy, are we getting Marino? 
do we even want Marino? Is he the backup option? Are we actually putting him on the side? Yeah, we'll just keep you there on the grill, bruv. You just slow cook. Yeah, just slow cook, bruv, because we're looking at someone else. But anyway, let's go back to the game. Let's talk about some of the good performers today. Uh, my baller, by the way, Trossardino. I keep telling you lot, and you lot keep getting on to me. Oh, you don't know, you don't know ball. You don't know ball. Okay, mate, you were born in deficit. Don't worry about my ball knowledge, bruv, because it's elite. Yeah, and Trossard is our best player. I think we see that again today. Yeah, he's our best player. The way he sat them men down, oh, my days. Both the goalkeeper and the centre-back went to the shop hand in hand like the rainbow merchants and went and brought milk. Rainbow milk. He, rainbow milk. Jesus, he actually impressed me today because this guy has been a massive disappointment since he's been at Arsenal, I can't lie. Yeah, and he has glimmers and little moments. However, today he looked really sharp, really lively. But how many times have we said he's looked sharp and he's looked lively? All of a sudden, knee injury, done. Fenito. So it is what it is. 29. 29. Playing in midfield again, yeah? Cool. Playing in midfield. I actually thought he had a good game. I can't lie. See, we give praise when it's due. Not just giving praise for praise sake. Oh, you're so toxic. And what, bruv? Nobody cares. Now, genuinely, nobody cares. When a player plays well, I say they play well. When a player plays shit, I say they play shit. That's it. Oh, but, 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 but he got GA. And what? 29 played well today. Take out his two assists and his goal. He still had a good game. And this is where GA don't matter. Because you can have a good game without having GA, yeah? I.e. Gabriel Magalash. Oh, but he's a defender. And what? Saliba played well today. As soon as Saliba went off the pitch and we put Kivior there, we looked a little bit raggedy, yeah? Lewis Skelly at left back, yeah? As much as I dislike, and I do dislike Zinchenko, I can't stand him. Lewis Skelly is nowhere near that level. He's not. So just calm down a little bit with these young players. Because most of these are being played to be put in the shop window because they're going to get a loan move somewhere. And I understand that. Problem is, too many people get gassed up. Oh, Lewis Skelly needs to play. He needs to get minutes. Lewis Skelly is not better than Zinchenko, and he's our worst left back. He's not. He's genuinely not better than him. So let's just calm it down. He may go on to be better than him, but right now, in this moment, he's not. He did all right when he came on. Ethan Nawari. That boy needs to get in the squad this season. He needs to play this season. Play him, and Matty said it on the watch-along. Play him until Christmas. In and out the team, start games, come on as a sub, etc., etc. Start, play 60 minutes, play 55 minutes, play 74 minutes, blah, blah, blah. Throw him on as a sub for 15 to go. And by Christmas, if he ain't cut it, you're on loan, fella. Because he looks good. However, he looked good in the last preseason when he was cooking Barcelona's whole team. What happened then? So let's just rein it in a little bit. Just chill on these youngsters. But he looks good. Skelly looks decent. However, he's nowhere near the level to be starting for Arsenal. And this is the problem Mikel Arteta has. And see, I will give credit and I will understand. Super duper Mick, yeah, super duper Mick, yeah, understands that he's going to throw all the cups in the bin, which I don't like, by the way, because we shouldn't be snobby to what we can and can't win oh we don't want that cup that's a shit cup oh that's the car oh the energy drink cup oh well we've won the fa cup more times than anyone so we don't want that yeah guess what manual won the fa cup behind us right now but anyway super duper mix trying to go for the biggest prize because he wants to be seen as a hero leader the man that toppled pep's reign at man city so he's going all out for the premier league so i understand that he can't play these kids because they're not ready to play week in, week out. However, at the same time, I do think Ethan Nawari is light years clear of Fabio Vieira, who again today, by the way, was awful. He was rubbish. How long do we keep going with this? He's our, he's our Bernardo. He's our Bernardo Silva. He, how long do we keep going with this? He's trash. I'm skinny, bruv. This guy is skinnier than me. He's abusing skinny. Like, real talk, what are we doing here? He's rubbish. We wasted 35 M's on that. Yeah, Bakayo Saka didn't look sharp when he came on. That's understandable. 
Declan Rice looked awful when he came on. Thomas Party played all right today. Thomas Party, Party, Thomas Party did all right when he came on today. Yeah. Edward and Ketty are sorry, mate. The King of Zamunda. If you're putting your sh shelf, if you're putting your shelf in the shop window today, mate. Yeah. Well, maybe, uh, maybe uh, Monaco, Monaco, Marseille. Maybe Marseille are sitting there going, hey, oh, bro, we've dodged a bullet with that one, mate. I can't lie. Because some of them players are nowhere near good enough. And then we've got other players that I look at and I think, oh, you could actually, you could actually do a job. He could do a job. Nawari is the guy. Skelly ain't the guy. Not yet. Loan him out. Loan him out to a mid to low table team or a championship team. Put Nawari in the squad. Play him here and there. If he does the business, boom, happy days. If he doesn't, loan him out of Christmas, January window. See you later. You're going on a six month loan, wherever it may be. Yeah, because he actually looks threatening. He actually looks like he can do a really good job in midfield. He was involved in the 29 goal. Nice cross from Saka, by the way. Very nice cross. The reason 29 wasn't there, and I didn't see it until the replay, is he was getting his shirt pulled. Otherwise, he would have been there to tap it in. But Saka put that on a plate. Yeah, but we've got we've got some issues in the squad that are nowhere near being resolved. We've got way too many players in this squad that are not good enough. We've got way too many players in this squad that shouldn't be here. Real talk. Yeah, real talk. Reese Nelson, Ramsdale, like Eddie and Ketia, Fabio Vieira. Yeah, if we're going to keep Zinchenko playing in midfield, Kivior, I'm sorry, mate. The drop off from Saliba to Kivior is wild. It is wild. But all in all, listen, great performance. That first half was a joy to watch. Second half, Obviously, wholesale changes. It's going to mess the game up a little bit from both sides. I get it. It's a fitness, like whatever, whatever. But that first half, we were awesome. But now, now, can that convert into beating Man City to a title? I don't think so. Let's be real. What have we actually done to overtake Man City this summer? Nothing. Yeah, but Lee, they've lost Alvarez. And what? They'll win the league without him. Yeah, but you got 19... 19 goals and 13 this and what? They'll find someone else to do it because that's what they do. That's what Man City do. We should be actively out there signing Elise, Paulinho, yeah, Ivan Tony, Dovbix, players like that. Yeah, we should actively be out there looking at Eze. Unfortunately, this is Arsenal Football Club. And the obvious is backwards to this club. So if you want to cry about it, cry in the comments. Yeah, if it gets clipped up, big up my boy Halimi. He runs my TikTok. I don't. I don't see it. But if you want to cry in the TikTok comments, cry. Any of you mutants want to clip me up and put it on Twitter, cry. We don't care. We're back again. The season starts next week. And uh, in fact, the Community Shield is on Sunday. We will be there. Uh, next Wednesday, Hala Madrid against Atalanta. Super Cup final. And then Thursday, La Liga starts. Friday, Premier League starts. We're there, guys. Lee Reacts, make sure you sub to that channel, people. If I can squeeze it in the title, I'll get it in the title. Lee Reacts, we're over 30k. Bless up for 101k. Bless up to everyone who showed mad support. And uh, this season, buckle up. Buckle up, because it's not going to be it's not going to be easy. It ain't easy. It's not going to be an easy season. And don't let this result fool you, yeah? We look good today. But at the same time, we looked awful against Man United in parts. And we looked awful against Liverpool. So. A topsy turvy up and down roller coaster of a preseason, but fitness is what it's all about in it. And listen, to slap Leverkusen up 4 1, bless. Happy days. We're out. All right, Edu out.